Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Clockwork Tangerine by Brewdog is the one for you. Yes! <laughs> Good job, Brad. Thanks. <laughs>back everybody i'm brad i'm jessica i i guess the 18 percent fruitful what is that called fruitful fort fort screwed me up so we are going to try another brew dog beer this is 4.5 percent abv and 35 ibus the 4.5 is on the can i did get this at hoffman street grocery in three rivers michigan a dollar 89 you can't beat the prices on this. Did you, you roll this? You can't beat it with a stick. I, well, I ran down the stairs with it in my hand. Okay. Is that shaking it up? Well, it says India Session Ale Session IPA. This says a tangerine one. Well, clockwork tangerine. I hope it's good. There you go. I hope it's good. Yeah, I think most of them, the other three that we have, have been okay. Uh, what was it? Elvis juice was the um, worst grapefruit one. That's um, the worst of Hazy Jane and Funk IPA. Those were the good ones. Can date is seven nine eighteen. Looks like and, you're gonna enjoy that. Yeah. Um. That's. I mean, obviously they're probably not producing them all at the same time, but Hoffman Street did get them all in the same day. But this is a week or two weeks newer than the other ones. Uh, it's going to be fresh then, right? It should be. Uh, white head. It is translucent. It's almost the color that's coming up. Bubbles are spread apart. Uh, about a quarter finger of head. If we look at the color, I would say yellow, straw yellow color. Very, very clear. Lots of bubbles coming up on this one, just like all the other BrewDog beers. Okay. I don't remember. Smell. Mmm. I love the smell of tangerines. I love the smell of citrus. I love, love, love the smell of it. Except for I smell too much pine in this. Yeah, I was going to say like a, a sweet tangerine Juicy. pine-ish. Juicy tangerine with some pine in it. I wouldn't say pine-ish. Pine-ish. I think that's not a word. It is now. Um... It, it's almost like if you took a piece of the tangerine and broke it open and smelt it. Smelled it, yeah. Smelt. We're going to smelt <laughs> or. Is that the meat of the tangerine today? It's almost... Didn't we... I, I think we... It almost smells like like a oil. Yeah, like my tangerine oil. Yeah. Yeah, yeah not... Yeah. Like essential oil. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what it smells like. Yeah, I'm not focused so much on the smell anymore. I'd really like to take a drink of this. Man, I hope this isn't like the grapefruit one. <laughs> You're about to find out. Yep. Okay, drink. I swear I've had something that tasted exactly like this before. Uh, Tangerine Space Machine. Tangerine Space Machine from New Holland Brewery. Yeah. Tastes exactly like it's this. It's like tangerine up front, then like tangerine bitter peel mm -hmm. going to the back. Up front, it's like, and I'm going to, I can't remember because I just looked at it earlier today, but I can't remember. But one guy said it's like, like, uh, orange Sprite or, um... Sun kissed or some oh. I, some pop I okay. can't remember and that's kind of what the upfront I don't think so because that is. tastes more of an orange carbonated thick sugar mm -mm. I think it so. tastes like this this is a little bit more watered down but no, it it's doesn't. got that play flavor profile as that did yeah. no it doesn't it doesn't taste like orange pop it tastes like tangerines no. sun kissed. Sunkiss no, is orange. That's, it's not tangerine. Yeah. This tastes like tangerine space machine. I told you that. Like twice. 
And Tangerine Space Machine tastes good at first, but then it doesn't but taste good. But that was good. in New England. I think that was juicier, I believe. I'm just saying it tastes like it, and it's exactly what it tastes like, and it tastes fine at first, and then it doesn't taste good when you want to drink the rest of it. But and do you not like the bitter? No, not at all. Okay. Um, I like the aftertaste. Is it's like pun like pungent? Like, yeah. Is it your words of pungent. I don't know. Yeah. Bitter aftertaste. I'm gonna have to go get me a hazy jean from upstairs. Oh great. I wouldn't say I, I would go a 3.75 out of 5. I, I think it's watered down too yeah. much. I would like not so much of a, a nasty aftertaste. Yeah, bitter. Yeah. Some people are going to like that bitter. Right. Or some people aren't. Right. We're not one of those people that I don't like, like a bitter aftertaste. What, what score would you I'm going to go like a 3.25. Because like I said, it tastes good at first. But I don't know that I could finish a can because I just don't like that bitter... Blech. Four of my friends have had it. Average 3.69 out of 5. 23,000 people have rated this. Average 3.54 out of 5. So, so they're, range. they're right in the middle of both of us. I went 3.75. You yep. went 3.25. Does anyone say it tastes like Tangerine Space Machine? Uh, I'm impressed that I know my beer. And that I know my beer enough apart that I remembered... What the taste was. I'm telling you, I want to know if anyone's had it and if they have, if they feel the same way because the it's like a taste you don't forget because I really liked the Oops. the taste of it and so when we went to New Holland, I actually ordered one, and about like halfway through it, I'm like I can't finish this. It's just it smells good though. I like the, like I said the fruit, the citrusy. I, I, I could see drinking smell. this outside, mingling, something like that. <laughs> When do you mingle? Never. Okay. Once a year at our 4th of July party. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's not as um, delicious as I had hoped. So here's the thing. Apparently we started off with the good IPAs, the good ones, because we're too good, too bad for the... Well, I think this is ahead of the Elvis juice. Yeah. Meh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember what I rated that, but... Whatever. People like it or they don't. And I yep. don't care for it as much. Yeah. And it's, for dollar eighty nine, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, I still don't understand how they can get the price I so think low. you shouldn't voice your concern because then they're going to be like, Brad Allison thinks we got to yeah. raise the prices, I so let's it. raise them. So what you're saying is that the four-pack of Greenstone for sixteen forty nine, I could have bought, like, 14 beers. Yeah. Well, this Not is quite fourteen, but at eight. Hoffman Street anyway. This is nine ninety nine a six pack. Okay, so yeah, and it's for four four of them. Yeah, I yeah, mean Greenstone. Green a bigger can. Yeah, I yeah, sixteen know. ounce. Okay, well, I was just using it as an example because I remember it yeah. was fresh on my head. So cool. We'll That'll wrap it. up this video, and until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.